Breaking new information at 11 state police now telling KDK they're in charge of a deadly officer involved shooting at a golf course in Cranberry. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Police say they exchanged gunfire with the suspect during a huge manhunt this afternoon. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso broke those new details at 10 and since then has even more new information. She joins us live from the Cranberry Highlands Golf Course. Jen. Yeah, so state police just left here just a short time ago and they towed away the suspect's SUV inside. They say they found guns and threatening notes and they told me that they found a note at the the hotel where the suspect was staying not far from just south of here. They also tell me they're looking into threats he may have made to a local hospital. An alarming sight at Cranberry Highlands Golf Course. Police in body armor and carrying rifles, police dogs, SWAT teams, local, state, and federal agents all searching for one man. Janet Davis was stunned when she heard what they found. That's what I heard. Golf course employees found guns, seen guns in his car. Police say that's how this all began. Golf course workers found the man parked on Turf Grass Road. He told them he was having car problems. But they say he wasn't fully coherent. Then they saw the guns. Cranberry Township Police Chief Kevin Meyer described what police found in that vehicle. There were weapons seen inside the vehicle. As they were going through the vehicle and um, securing the contents and getting ready to tow, um, they found some concerning notes inside the vehicle, which um, led us to believe that this individual wanted to do harm to himself or others. Police didn't know where the man went, so they shut the golf course down. Chief Meyer says they came face to face with him in the woods hours later. He was killed, but police are still trying to figure out if he was shot by police or if he shot himself. Hours later, the KDKA drone team above the course. Pennsylvania State Police called in to investigate. They snapped pictures of this white SUV. I hope they release all the information. I hope we all know what actually happened. I want to know, like, just why here, you know? It's just scary. The coroner has not identified the man who died, but police tell me he was in his 30s. Now, I asked about those notes, those threatening notes, what they said, and police are staying tight-lipped on that. Reporting live in Cranberry Township, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK-TV News.